This video is part of a series where we build an entire FPV drone from start to finish. So if it feels like you're in the middle of a conversation that you missed the start of, that's why. If you're here for the information in this specific video, keep watching. But if you want to find out the full context for what's going on here, there's a link in the video description to the full playlist, and you might need to go back and start with video number one. At this point in the build, I like to do what I call a smoke check. We're going to do a basic test with a multimeter to make sure that we haven't made any gross mistakes in wiring this up. And then we are going to apply power and see if anything blows up. And the idea is that we haven't quite finished the build yet, but we've done most of the places where we might make a mistake that would blow things up. And so we may as well check that before we get too much deeper in. In order to do this, we're going to need a multimeter. If you don't have a multimeter, it's, it's time to get one. They don't have to be expensive. They can be as little as like 15 or 20 bucks, maybe even less. Even a cheap one is fine. This is the one I use. It's on my ultimate FPV shopping list. You can find links to it there. Uh, just get one. Uh, you get one at freaking Walmart. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the multimeter into continuity check mode. That is the mode with this little symbol that looks kind of like a Wi-Fi symbol. It actually is supposed to be the representation of a speaker because when there is continuity between the two probes, they will make a sound. And basically, we can use this to test if two things have electrical connection to each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my XC60 and I'm going to put the black multimeter probe on the negative pin of the XT60 and the red multimeter probe on the positive pin. And what I want to hear is no beeping. Great, no beeping. That's what we want. And then I'm going to reverse them, the red probe on the negative, and we want to hear no beeping. Oh, we heard a beep there. If there's a short beep, that stops, that's okay. That's just the capacitors in your build charging up, and once they charge up, then the current stops flowing. But if we get a continuous beep, then there's a short circuit between positive and negative, and you must not plug a battery in until you figure out where that, where that short circuit is coming from. So now that we've verified there is no short circuit between the positive and negative, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we've got our ground and our VBAT wire, the red wire, wired up correctly. Um, oh, that's the first time I've used the term VBAT. VBAT is short for battery voltage, and it basically refers to the red wire. Uh, on the XT60 and anything else in the quadcopter that is getting power directly from the battery as opposed to from a voltage regulator that is changing that voltage up or down by some amount. So we're going to take the uh, black multimeter probe and we're going to put it on the negative pad, uh, prong of the XT60 and in fact I can just kind of stick that in there a little bit and then I don't need to hold it anymore. And then we're going to find a ground pad on the flight controller. And there are several ground pads. If you can't find a ground pad, the simplest thing to do is to use the outside of the USB connector. That is always ground. And we want to hear a beep in this case. And we do. The reason we want to hear a beep in this case is we are making sure that ground is wired to ground. That's the way it should be. And we can do the same thing with the positive of the VBAT or the red wire, that in there. And we would need to look for a VBAT pad on the flight controller. And it turns out this flight controller doesn't actually have a convenient VBAT pad. I, not that I can find anyway. So instead, what we can do is we can look at the ESC uh, plug. And you see that the red wire is the second wire from the right. And we can go and just very carefully touch the back of that plug, touching the second pin from the right. And we should hear a beep here. There we go. Sometimes what works is just to kind of swipe your uh, probe slowly from left to right. But you have to make very careful that when you hear that beep, you're touching the wire you expect to be touching. If I were to touch the very rightmost one, which is the black wire, which is ground, and I heard a beep, that would be bad because it would mean we had connected VBAT to ground. Um, so we're going to just very carefully touch that second one and listen, and we should get a beep. And we do. And we should only get a beep on that second one, and we do. This check has given us pretty strong confidence that everything is wired up correctly and there is no short circuit. The next thing to do is to apply power. But don't just plug a battery in. No, no, no. 
I highly recommend you pick up one of these. This is a smoke stopper. The exact one uh, brand of this is the V Fly Short Saver V2. It will, it costs like 15 bucks, but it will save you someday blowing up a hundred dollar ESC. Um, and what this does, it acts kind of like a fuse or a circuit breaker. If too much current is flowing, it cuts off power and it protects you from some mistakes that would blow your stuff up. So we're gonna plug this into the quadcopter and we're gonna get one of our batteries. Uh, the battery for this build should be a 6S battery. You can see it says here 6S. It is okay to use a lower voltage if you have one laying around. Anything down to certainly 3S would be okay, uh, but nothing higher than 6S if somehow you've managed to grab one of those. We're gonna plug that in. Nothing will happen because the smoke stopper has not turned on yet. This one has a switch that we need to press to turn on. We're gonna go ahead and press that switch. That may have happened as soon as you plug the battery in, uh, and that is what we wanted to hear. Those beeps mean that the ESC and the motors are alive, the flight controller is lit up, and most importantly, no smoke has come out of anything. We are ready to proceed. This is the part of the playlist where you're gonna skip to a different video depending on which video transmitter you're using. The next couple videos in the playlist are going to say analog only, DJI 03 only or walk snail only and you are going to well you can watch all of them if you want to but you're only going to follow along with the video that pertains to the type of video transmitter that you are using after you finish that you will then proceed with the rest of the playlist